Hello, welcome back to a, another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick tip for Caden Live. So if we run the program, I'm running Caden Live. Uh, what's the latest version I'm running? Uh, about Caden Live. I'm running version 20.12.1, which is the latest version. This should work on older versions too. What I found is if you drag a video to video 1, and drag a video into video two and you can remove what you want to remove so i'm going to remove there and there now i want to add another video track with my subscription button so under video two i can right click insert track above video two track name is sub i'll call it that one it's okay now you'll see when i try and drag the subscription button over it won't let me add it and i'm thinking to myself why won't it let me add it you can add a jpeg but you can't add the video so why can't you add the video well the video has got an audio with it which is why it won't let us go over so under track uh, audio track two, right click, insert track, and uh, call it sub audio, and we're going to press OK. Now, if I drag the subscription button down to the top there, it lets us add it. Don't matter where you put it, it let you add it there, and then you can do your um, composite and transform it and stuff. So there we go. If you need to add a third video track or fourth video track, fifth video track, and it's got audio with it, then you need to add audio tracks as well. So I've added video three, and I've added audio track three. If I want to add a video, another video, I can do video track four, audio track four. If I just want to add a picture, like an arrow or something like that, or background, I can do just by adding a video track. Was a quick tip for Caden Live, something I've just uh, found out. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, yellow button seems to work too. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in another video.